stop with that round thing you're using. Where does yeah. it, it? Mostly all the bones. No, is there anything else that people would use it to cut? Um, yeah, they do to uh, cut stuff if you're uh, building uh, stuff for a freight train uh, layout. Uh, they use it for small uh, stuff to do at home, little repairs. Uh, they use it for crafts. If they're going to craft something, they do this too as well. Yeah. This is uh, the, uh, just the wrist that would be on this part of the uh, eagle. And then you have uh, one of the bones over here, which would go over here. Yeah. And that's where you have the flight feathers, you have the tip of the wing, and then you have the wrist bone, and then you've got the other bone that I've got in there for um, the use for a bone whistle. So yes, there's a little groove here, so I just want to cut alongside the groove. And I want to use a fork, like right in here, so I'll cut right up the fork. Mr. Barney! They'll be drilled. We'll put a hole right in here, and then you're going to do the choker. The choker will be done that way. Put tension from the bone itself. Cuts into itself. These over here will be cut. Will be cut basically over here. Then they'll be polished. They'll, they'll stay the way they are, and then a hole will be drilled in here. Mm -hmm. you get a hole in here, and that'll, that'll make a, uh, a necklace too as well. These here will be utilized. They'll be cut here at the tip, and they're used for a button, uh, button blanket. People will utilize them, they'll adorn them with, uh, with a bit of gold, and they'll put a stone, and then they'll use them as a brooch. Yeah, yeah so that's okay. yeah. This over here is mostly used for earrings, uh, cleaned up, and then this part over here goes underneath the earlobe, and it's uh, laced mostly with silver or gold on the contour, yeah. and then it's given to the hierarchy. Um, Chieftains, their their daughters, whoever's from the Eagle Clan, the highest members of the Eagle Clan, the women wear them to identify themselves. Same with the men. A beautiful piece once it's polished. So which part of it do you think that has to be that little bit of strip of bone shown or something? This is pretty much the inside that's shown as the inside of this part over here. Because the lace, the gold part? yeah, the gold follows this part here. And so you're only left with a little center piece here that shows the bone. Okay. That's not more than that. This over here is utilized on the medicine wheel. Uh, you can utilize this bone or you can utilize the big upper shoulder bone. Yeah. You can utilize that bone to do the contour of the medicine wheel. A lot of people don't have access to uh, the medicine wheel is 12 carcasses. So they'll get six carcasses and they'll utilize the leg bone. This is the upper hip bone. And this is the leg bone. 
over here. This one won't be used. But this is the uh, leg bone itself. Uh, there's another bone. There's there's another bone at the uh, bottom. So this basically will go like this over here. You join over here. Yeah. There's another bone over here that goes to the bottom. The talons. And these are those bones. They're cut and they're ready for uh, chest plate. Several other chiefs received this choker. Yourself, Leroy, received uh, some chokers. My family's got a couple chokers sitting aside. This is one of them. It's to complement the uh, chest plate that's in the box. Yeah. I'll pull out the chest plate when I'm done. Yeah. Different than when I was playing music. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know what it's like to go out and snare a rabbit. Eat it. Yum, yum, yum. And Euron friends, they're from the Euron Nation. So it's common, go fishing and cook your fish and sit there and laugh and eat. Go swimming and enjoy, enjoy your time. And then their parents did, did a lot of this stuff too as well. They prepared uh, regalia and they corrected regalia. We're not far from the Mohawk Nation. Not far from the American border. That's why I used to uh, go to Maine, Blacksburg. Used to hang around Burlington and Vermont. I had a friend who went to a private school there too as well. So I had the opportunity to see him. Go there and hang around. Really cool. So there was really no border between Canada and the United States? Oh, there oh, well, was. It's just because what happened was 9-11. It was more free and free. Like, well, what happened with 9-11 is... After that, it's, yeah. It's because they should have they should have really been attentive to the types of people they allow into Canada. And, they were. Yeah. and then they went and blew up planes. They, they, it's just too bad because it caused a lot of animosities between Americans and Canadians, and that was Canada's duty to watch their borders and watch who they allow. Yeah. And they allow us these tensions because there's, there's a lot of people who are here now that disappeared, so people are worried as to what they might be up to eventually. Even though some are, thank you for the freedom, they might have alternate sense, different ideologies, and their ideologies one day might slap us all in the face. Mm -hmm. And that's what America is worried about, and I don't blame them. When I run for office for the Prime Minister, and when I get elected, I'm going to make that a point that I'm going to be very selective. I prefer to have the migrant population here invite their families to live here before allowing outsiders that might cause my people in time harm. And these are things that one has to consider as a Remember I just heard the other day, Mark? They're allowing close to 400,000 immigrants into Canada in the real near future here. Yeah, and right now we have housing problems, the cost of living is yeah. expensive, and in the end it's because they don't fathom what's going on. It's all about money, and it's all about the you know, workforce, and trying to get a cheap workforce, and who can swear alliance to, to who, and it's just too bad. Like here, they swear alliance. They swear an oath of alliance to the queen, and they're not even from England. So to me, all these things are is what's destroying Canada. And it's what's destroying the partnerships we had a long, long time ago with America. Now, partnership with America, with this government, is, is all based on Nothing else. Not based on bringing sick Americans to Canada for treatment. It's not based on on unification of the nations, of saying, okay, our nation is now unified. We're going to have all common similar laws. People can travel back and forth. Because when you look at it, 